All right, welcome back inside our proactive newsroom. And joining me now is George Sukachoff. He's the CEO of Belmont Resources. And George, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Steve. Yeah. So some uh, results out and and uh, from the Lone Star project, and these aren't aren't necessarily drill results. They're something that shows what you are drilling into. <laughs> is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. I think it was significant enough uh, that what we're seeing at the Lone Star, it's a copper gold project just uh, south of the border in Washington State. But uh, in our first 14 holes of drilling, these are the first 14 holes we're drilling, uh, we announced uh, we've, we've hit sulfides in massive sulfides in all the 14 holes, which is very, very significant. And uh, we announced earlier two of the first of these 14 holes, and we got up to 18% uh, copper showing that the sulfides we're looking at will kick in some respect. Hopefully it will kick in some respect. So we're extremely excited about this, the fact that, uh, and we're really anticipating the results from these 14 holes. And the drill keeps on going. We, we're drilling up to 42 holes on this project. So it's really exciting. George, uh, tell me about the area that, that you're drilling in. Is it, is, it, uh, is it the main area or whereabouts are you? Are you doing any step yeah, outs at all? It is, it is the main area, actually. It's, it's, it's the core. But with the results we're getting, the results when I mean that it, hitting the sulfides yeah. is that it shows that uh, it, it is ex, uh, expandable. What we're hitting are these, these rhyolite domes. And these are sort of like these uh, volcanic, uh, volcanogenic uh, sort of intrusions that, that pop up, sort of like uh, a porphyry systems. But the, we, have, we have identified three separate of these uh, uh events that that bring up the sulfides and the sulfides were bringing up also the the the, the mineralization the copper and the gold so so we've identified three at three different levels here and and you know so one thing i just like to say in exploration of projects you initially start at a green uh, at the grassroots of a project you do some exploration then you start drilling and what you do is you start saying well, let's drill here and see what we get. And eventually you start drilling, you develop the, you develop the model, and then you test it. You say, well, look, if we drill here, we should get this. And if you start getting that right, you've got a good model. And that's where we're at right now. We're, we've developed this new model now that it's these, these beautiful uh, mineralized, apparently mineralized anyway, of the, these rhyolite domes, three of them. Mm -hmm. So it's very significant. The fact we're at a stage now we're saying, we understand the model now, and we're out, we're going to prove it up more. And we see it is potentially large. And and George, is that what you want investors to understand that that the model that you drew up is is exactly what what you've seen so far? And, and is that what investors have to understand that you're you feel like you're on the right track? Yeah, like I said, you know, you eventually you start drilling uh, instead of just ex exploration and seeing what's there. You start to you develop your model. It's like throwing spaghetti against the wall and seeing what sticks, and and that's that's sort of the developing the model, and and you eventually say, look, let's drill here, and we should expect to get this if we drill here, and our model is starting to hold up, and that's what we've been getting now. We've been placing drill holes and says this hole should give us. We should be hitting the rhyolite, this mineralization, the sulfides at this depth, and sure enough, we've been hitting it, bang. So this, this certainly gives us the confidence that we understand this now and we, we can, we can uh, understand how big, potentially big it is. And our drilling is far more effective and cost efficient in this manner. And ultimately we're, we're trying to, uh, we're, we're going for a resource, a resource update. There is a historic resource on the property. Mm -hmm. So we're quickly advancing this with the historic uh, um, the resource update. All right, George, we'll leave it there. Congratulations on this. Exciting times, and we look forward to hearing more about it as it uh, rolls on. So thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Look forward to telling more of the story. All right, look forward to hearing it. George Sukachov, the CEO of Belmont Resources.